A huge welcome to our viewers from the Estadio Berra Rio, located here in Porto Alegre, Brazil, and home to SC Internacional. And here we have Inter against Verona. I'm Peter Drury, and this is Jim Beglin. Hi, everyone, and thanks, Peter. It's great to be on board. A quick look at the lineups. we go then Vital Eriksson Damian now it's Perisic nothing wrong with that tackle ball won cleanly Barini and it's Barini Eriksson. Perisic looks to slip it through. Lukaku crosses it square. Goal! Inter! And Inter go in front. Oh, an absolute gem of a cross. It made the header simple. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Into Milan, take the early advantage. And he's made certain that won't get through. Vidal played out to the right. Perisic with the ball through. Clears it out of harm's way. Perisic is the guilty party there. And back to base. He's off on a marauding run. And the defence can get it clear. Oh, they got the only goal to make it 1-0. Borini, good challenge, he just stood firm. Vidal. Damian passes it through. Perisic. Header! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Well, he certainly got to the ball well enough, but the rest didn't quite come off for him. Stitch defending, but that'll do. Christian Eriksen decides to play it back. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Looks like a good ball through, and he's cut it out. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Well, the idea was crafty, but the weight of the pass was just a little light. 
It's Terrasic! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. The keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. Too heavy, keeper can pick that up. And the referee brings the first half to a close. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Inter can be fairly pleased with themselves. The fact that they're forcing the opposition to come at them and try and level things is playing into their hands, and I think the counter-attack may yet pay dividends again. Inter Milan, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. Inter Milan carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Eriksson. Vidal. Christian Eriksson pumps it forwards. Vidal. Oh, that had to be more accurate. Tries a through ball. Promising cross. The worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. Just off target. Oh, he couldn't have hit that any better, and any other time it would have sneaked in. Vidal. Eriksson. Somewhat looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, now that he scored, this defence is on high alert whenever he, he goes anywhere near the ball. Out wide to the right. Still going. Where to next? And the cutback. They've managed to get it away. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Christian Eriksen plays it out to the wing. Now it's Pazzini. Pazzini was alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. a foul, free kick's been given. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Do you think he's feeling the effects of that tackle? <laughs> and it's Damian. Perisic looking to get on the end of this. It was all about the quality of the delivery. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Well, the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Perisic. Now the pass. Now it's Lukaku. And he's on his way! Verona have a sub ready to come on. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Hits one! That is wonderful from Lukaku! Unbelievable. And with that goal comes comfort. Quite exquisite. Brilliantly dispatched. Yeah, and he had to adjust his body position to swing at that. It was instinctive and top draw.
Verona have chosen to bring on the last of their substitutes. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Into Milan, take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Out to the left it goes. Eriksson pumps it upfield. Damian tries making a foray down the right. It's a loose ball. Decent strike, kept it fizzing low. I actually like to see that in shots at goal when there's a, a noticeable effort to get over the ball and, and keep it down. There will be four extra minutes. Aimed long and direct. Borini tries a long pass towards the front. The final whistle. Solid, if not especially fancy. Always in control. They did enough to win it. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? I think when we look back at that,